YouTube, it's your boy. I'm out with the orientation, man. Finna get on up out of here, man. Head my ways um, to orientation. Hopefully, this hopefully the Uber driver got a big trunk, man, because I got my stuff with me. I pretty much take everything that I'm gonna need, and there's a lot of things I'm gonna need. So, but just the first time I took Uber, I always take Lyft. If you know what Lyft is, Lyft is like Uber, but I think Lyft is a lot more cheaper. I don't know how it works, but they all they all self-employed, in my opinion. But this is how it runs. So, I hit driver got a four-star rating, four four point seven. Whatever. It says about eight, eleven dollars to drop me off. That's cool. I'm not really tripping out that. And then I'm finna get on this bus. And then I'm finna head to the shot. Won't tell nobody where I'm gonna work at, cause I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> you know that's the that's the thing, man. I want to keep that lucrative, cause if I want to say anything about trucking and y'all want to ask me about it, I can tell you without somebody having some hard feelings about what I'm gonna say. That's why I won't tell nobody what company I work for because it's none of their business. But, let me get on up out of here. Here at the damn Greyhound station. It's so busy here. It's one of these ladies up here, man. They look like she on drugs or they have withdrawals. But this is what it is, man. On my way, on my way to Illinois, man. Still won't tell y'all what coming up.
it. Up here at the station right now, waiting on the dang going driver so I can go back to the road. Man. Just waiting on this dude. It's almost like 45 minutes. Should be out there sooner or later. But, uh, just wanted to let y'all know, man. Got orientation tomorrow. Y'all be up at 6.30. And the way it's looking, yeah, he taking all day. That's what I'm trying to say. But uh, 45 minutes is a long time. I don't know. But it is what it is, you know. Man, finally made it. Um, man, I'm finna go to orientation tomorrow. Didn't read the doggone. Man, one thing, read the doggone orientation stuff. So I read it and it's talking about we, I might have a roommate. Let's pray to God I don't. Because I don't want nobody in here. I really don't. I don't trust nobody <laughs> when it come to me and my stuff. I don't trust nobody. Uh, Cause hopefully, I don't think nobody else coming because I took the last bus coming from West, so I don't know. I pray to God nobody comes in here, man, cause I don't want to share no room with nobody. I really don't. Not with another guy. It just don't work like that. And um, there's other guys that you, they put you on a troll with a trainer for a week. Ah, oh, man. Let me just tell you this. I'm getting to the point where I'm getting burnt out on truck driving. And I'm starting to realize that certain things I want to do in life has nothing to do with what I'm doing now. Sometimes you got to look in the mirror and look at what you're doing for yourself and you got to reevaluate what you want out of life because certain things that you're doing is, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of boring. So, you know, just say for instance, yeah, okay, you make good money, but when you're chasing a dream or you're chasing a goal or you're chasing something that you want out of life, it's not about money. You think about what it can do for you, the possibilities as far as that, but you're looking at how, you, how, how it make you feel. You're going to feel more fulfilled about what you do. But what I'm doing right now, man, I'm not, I mean, to keep it real with you, I've been out here driving for almost seven months now, training school, everything. I kind of feel like I should be at home, man, working on my business, on, on my ideas that more than sitting around in a truck being lazy and, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say, I think about by the time my next birthday or before my next birthday, I'm done. I, I'm going home, find me a local job, I don't care, because I want to work more on me besides me working for somebody else yeah it's cool you know trucking is cool but at the same time it's nothing to get comfortable with i can't picture myself working for nobody for 20 years of my life and just to say i would have put those 20 years into something i wanted it and failed and got up on my feet failed failed people were just scared to fail and i think that's why one thing that won't help will help me move on you know so um but yeah, I'm here, you know, thank God, you know what I'm saying? So, but tomorrow I just got, you know, it's just orientation day. Um, I think I might just go dedicated run so I can, you know, I don't know how it's gonna work, but I think I'm gonna just go dedicated runs. But at the same time, I don't see myself doing this for too long. I was like that at Krispy Kreme. I don't see myself doing that too long. Trucking is cool, but it's, I want more out of life. You know what I'm saying? I'm worth more than just 50, the 60 or 70, 80, 90,000 a year, I'm worth more than that. And just to say I'm going to settle for one little thing is kind of silly to me, you know? It really is, so. But I just want to let y'all know, man, you know, never settle for something, never settle for something because you're worth a lot more. Your time is worth more than 50 to $60,000 a year. You're worth way more than that. You should be looking, aiming for at least 100,000 to 100 or 250,000 a year to me you know what i'm saying but me i want to make double that so let's say to make half a million a year i'm cool and i can retain that and take care of family and everything but i ain't gonna get that driving no truck but this tr trucking thing gets you everything you need the basic things you know a place to live a car however you want to do it but how i look at it i'm gonna buy me a car sooner or later and um and after that i'll be straight because Ain't no reason for me to put, ain't no reason for me to put up with the stuff that I'm doing right now 
and say I'm happy with this because I'm not, man. I'm not happy. At one point, I, when I came in the truck and I was all excited, but I'm starting to realize uh, some of these com these companies don't really care about you, no matter where you go. These companies don't really care about you. Yeah, they know your name. Yeah, they don't know you by number. But in all reality, it's still a business, and business is usual, regardless of what company you go to. You know what I'm saying? But you can make the you can make the best out of whatever you read. You know, so that's all I'm saying, man. But this your boy Dark Side, man. For all my haters out there, man, close your eyes and picture me rolling, cause I'm out. Peace.